welcome back guys and today i have another update on the uh, android gpu driver uh, for the raspberry pi now uh, as you guys uh, might remember last time uh, we were able to run uh, webgl on uh, chrome so that meant that uh, most uh, the linux uh, the linux system itself was recognizing the driver but the android apps uh, were not uh, were not uh, receiving the graphic calls uh, properly from the android but today what we have is to an extent we did get certain apps to run OpenGL ES2 properly so now you can see the demo of uh, 2D rendering of uh, an open uh, GL sample program now the downside is that 3D apps don't really work all that well so if I open a 3D demo it would flicker for a second and then crash so we have nothing here and more interestingly if I go ahead and uh, open something like uh, Kodi uh, now of course Kodi doesn't use as much 3D but it uses some amount uh, for its user interface uh, also something like uh, uh, Epic Citadel which is a 3D application also crashes now interestingly Antutu Benchmark uh, is an application that uh, shows us uh, very well how and when uh, the Raspberry Pi is actually able uh, to use OpenGL so uh, now that is uh, if I click on test and now let's you can see so 2d graphics we have a score of 653 uh, whereas at 3d graphics we have absolute zero so 3d graphics don't run right now so let's go ahead and test it again so that i can show you guys what is actually happening and i will go ahead and skip uh, the boring part of uh, undo to benchmark and i'll get back once this is done Alright guys so uh, as you can see we are back and 2D benchmark works extremely well there is no stuttering uh, absolute uh, great FPS is but and uh, so this shows that 2D is working really well but now we come to the 3D uh, benchmark and it's going to start and it reaches its uh, loading point so it's loading and it stops there uh, nothing much happens from there on either the application will crash or, or it will uh, likely reboot the whole android os so let's wait and see what happens uh, and as you can see untutu benchmark has stopped so it uh, sometimes the application stops itself or and uh, sometime it, it will reboot the whole OS so let's go ahead and click OK so like it's, it's kind of dead uh, let's go back there we go alright so let's go back uh, to 1 to 2 and check the scores so uh, this is actually unto 2 version 5.7.5 and not the newer one version 6 uh, the version 6 actually has a more complicated kind of uh, two app approach so one app is for 2d and the other one is for 3d and something like that so I didn't bother, uh, bother going with that one but anyways so that is our uh, scores again 627 for 2d and 0 for 3d and let's get back for a second and let's see what what app does it show all right so a but uh, ubuntu actually uh, loads the galenium 0.4 uh, 
uh, VC4 driver perfectly well. I mean, it shows it's uh, uh, there. So display you can see Brinder VC4 Broadcom OpenGL ES2 uh, and uh, blah blah blah. Uh, and that is where we are right now in terms of uh, three uh, graphics performance on Android uh, on the Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and test if and how smooth the browser actually works. So I'm not very sure how it will be. But since 2D apps are actually uh, running uh, very well on GPU, let's I, I, let's just see how the browsing experience is. So I'll just go to my uh, blog. It actually takes a very long time to load the web page. But okay, so we have uh, the web page kind of loaded, and scrolling is not really very responsive. I mean, it's still choppy. It, there is definitely some lag uh, when I'm scrolling, but yeah. So let's try and play this video. Uh huh. It won't play. Okay, so anyway guys, this was uh, a small update on uh, the development done so far uh, on this uh, platform, but uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, links for the forum post are uh, download as well as a couple more, more things if necessary would be linked in the description uh, also a big shout out for uh, Peter Yoon who actually does all the uh, coding for this project and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time